Hello and welcome to another Morales Minute. These are quick tips and sage advice to level up your Web3 game development. Hi, my name's Sam. I'm a Unity certified developer at Morales. I have over 20 years of game dev experience and more than 10 years experience as a digital nomad. I love spending time in nature and practicing sports, as well as drawing, painting, and making music. Together, we'll learn more about Web3 Gaming. Web3 Gaming technology, including decentralization, immutability, and transparency, enables new player experiences. Learn lessons from popular Web3 gameplay design to inspire your game development. Learn more about the Morales Web3 Unity SDK by clicking the link above. Click here to learn about the benefits of Web3 in gaming. And click here to learn more about designing for Web3 Gaming. Getting started. Now, as you start playing more Web3 games, one of the unique aspects of playing them is Web3 wallets. These wallets are an important piece to help you authenticate, to sign important transactions during gameplay, as well as holding your NFTs and currency that may go along with the game. One of the standards that you see out there is Wallet Connect. Many of the different branded Web3 wallets use Wallet Connect technology. This is just an easy open standard for developers to develop for and for these Web3 wallets to connect with. And you can see on the right MetaMask, which was one of the popular examples. The process of getting started in a particular game using the wallet depends, but most of them follow a flow something like setting up the wallet then maybe funding the wallet if the game needs currency to get started. Then you'd start the game, authenticate using the wallet, and then periodically throughout the life of that game, you'll need to sign certain key transactions, things that are on-chain and immutable. To get started with Axie Infinity, there's a few key steps taken from the website. First, you'll need to create and set up a Ronin wallet. This game requires this particular wallet. Then you'll get some of the Axie characters, which you'll use for the gameplay. You can create your account then, and then get started playing the game. Axie Infinity is a digital pet community where players can sell their in-game characters for real money using the Ethereum blockchain. Players can breed their Axies to discover exciting new combinations. Axies start off as eggs and require love and attention from their owners to grow up. Take care of your Axies and earn experience points by completing daily activities. Use experience points to level up your axes and unlock new abilities which can be used in battle. You can even trade your axes for cryptocurrency on our marketplace. Find out more on axieinfinity.com. Available now. Now that we've seen how to get started, let's look at the Axie Infinity overview. Now let's talk about my journey through as a new player. I did the getting started steps, I funded the wallet because I was thinking I need to pay some currency to get these characters, and I was right. You do need to have some real world currency put in as wrapped ETH and then into the game currencies for you to buy these characters. I chose a character within my budget, in this case it was a few dollars US, and I bought that character. Then realizing that one of the key features was to have multiple characters, I bought a second one as well. Here's the main inventory screen showing my two characters. Now, if we look at one of the characters, we can see some of the operations that I can do. I could sell that character back to the marketplace. I could gift it away to someone for free, or I could release it back into the marketplace. Another key feature there is that I can breed this character with another. This permanently trades in two of the characters and you get back one more. So I took my two characters and I set up to breed them. I noticed at this point I need some of the in-game currency SLP, or Smooth Love Potion, to make the transfer. 
I decided not to add more real-world currency to buy that, so I didn't go ahead with the breeding. To learn more about this part of the gameplay, let's talk to Tom. Hey everyone, I'm Tom Ionone, Head of Sales and Customer Success at Morales, and I'm here to talk a little bit about Web3 Gaming. Axie has something called Axie Infinity Shards, or AXS. These are the game's governance tokens. Uh, governance tokens are pretty standard for most Web3 games. They're really more of a community-based token. So in this case, you'll have more voting rights to make decisions on roadmap items, new features that are being added, and things like that. You can also stake the token, so you can generate more tokens over time, or you can use them directly in the in-game marketplace to make purchases for other axes or uh, other items in the game. So during my first gameplay session, after I realized I couldn't breed, I then explored some of the top menus that you can do through the browser version of the game. I saw that there was a battle section in the top menu. Disappointed when I got to it, it's a coming soon feature. Same when I checked out the land area of the top nav. Looks like that is coming soon. Then I remembered those getting started instructions included downloading to play. So while everything I've shown up to this point was inside the browser experience, including the marketplace and the ability to breed, there's two downloadable games. I downloaded what is called the Mavis Hub, and played both of these games. Axie Infinity Origin is a battler. I was just able to do the tutorial of the game, but I didn't have enough characters to move forward. I only have two. And the similarly titled Axie Infinity desktop game looks like you're able to do arenas and adventures, but again, I needed more characters than I had. Now that we've seen an overview, let's take a look at the game design. Let's take a step back and look at Web3 game design. So traditionally, you address the needs of particular players and player types. You'll know that people coming to your game may be interested in different aspects of the gameplay. You want to consider each of them. Now, with Web3, the opportunities are so rich for someone coming to your experience, they may not even fit the traditional player type, who's there mostly for the fun of it. You also have earners, who are there to play, perhaps for the financial benefits of it, more than the gameplay itself. And then you have the investor type, who may never even open up the game at all. They would either invest through the NFT space, the currency space, or they could even fund earners and players who are in there doing the day-to-day -day experience of the gameplay itself. Now, a traditional game steps through a loop of gameplay, action, reward, and expansion. Let's think about the classic game Pac-Man. As Pac-Man moves through the maze, the actions here are to turn the character through the maze. The rewards are the pellets that the character collects, and for expansion, there's power pellets, special pickups that he can get that will change his abilities, temporarily giving him invulnerability, where he can chase the enemies. Now with Web3, we have a critical change here. Each time your character is rewarded, you're able to interact with the blockchain. Now this depends dramatically on the game itself, but some things you might be able to do after getting a reward of currency or NFTs or other assets, you could buy and sell those on the open market. You could perhaps stake them for increased income. And then there's governance opportunities as well. Here are the high level details of this game. Let's ask Tom to help us out with some more details here. So Axie Infinity is, a, as we discussed, it's a turn-based strategy game. So the goal really is to build a deck of characters and skill sets that can help you best defeat your opponent. Like most games, the core game mechanics are, are all pretty similar. Uh, because this is a Web3 game, obviously the first step here is authenticating the user and letting them log in with their wallet. The action that's taken first is battling your opponent. If all goes well, the reward you get is uh, Smooth Love Potions, so it lets you mint more Axies, it lets you essentially build up your account more. Axie also has a form of XP to level characters up. Uh, they call it matchmaking rating. And this allows you to win more Smooth Love Potions uh, in each battle. Now that we're inspired by that game, let's look at how Morales Web3 Unity SDK could help us in development. If we look at the generations of the web, we're departing Web2 and enjoying more and more Web3 experiences. Now, it's not a perfect analogy, but let's look at the generations in games. With middleware technology like Morales and Unity Game Engine, we're able to create Web3 experiences with features for our players that have never been possible before. Morales provides a single workflow for building high-performance dApps. It's compatible with all your favorite Web3 tools and services. Now, Unity is one of the most popular game engines out there, and the Morales Web3 Unity SDK brings the power of Morales into your Unity projects.
So what does every DAP and Web3 game need? Well, it needs to authenticate users, send and fetch assets, interact with contracts, and observe real-time events from those contracts. Morales does all this and more. To authenticate users with Morales, you use the authentication kit prefab. Drag that into your scene and your authentication is handled. To send assets with Morales, we can use execute contract function, for example, to mint an NFT. And to fetch assets from the blockchain, Morales offers many options, including get NFTs and get NFT owners. To interact with contracts, Morales offers run contract function for read operations and execute contract function for read and write operations. And to watch for real-time events, Morales is fully compatible with your favorite Web3 tools and services. You can connect Morales to your favorite backend and receive live events in real time, the ones that your game needs. Now that we've been inspired by that game design and seen how Morales empowers game development, what will you build next? Level up your Web3 development skills by building weekend projects. Sign up at morales.io slash projects. Visit docs.morales.io to download and get started. Thanks.